Okay, every time I think I can save a buck or two, they come out with something new. And uh, I don't know if this is just very new. I just hadn't run across it before. This is a different type of multi-tool than the one I've been most familiar with, the classic multi-tool, the old, I don't know, sandwich folding knife. Uh, this is SOG. Uh, never found out what those initials meant, if they do mean anything. Anyway, uh, but uh, this is a... Uh, this is a classic uh, multi-tool, at least by two uh, numbers or two existing existence. Uh, and uh, it it is very, very different than what I'm familiar with. Uh, in fact, I can see all of the, uh, the accessories basically right here. Can I actually open this? Yeah, you can actually open it without Okay, you actually open it without fold, unfolding it completely. So it's like having an overly large pocket knife in this configuration. I, have to, I always have to think about these things when I first get them because when you see them, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just getting them out of the box. So you're getting my fresh uh, view such as it is. And this is the I heard these slip a little bit, but you know, it doesn't really matter if it makes it, if it's got some defects. I just like weird knives and tools. God, I got so many tools in my van, which is not this video is not about that. <laughs> that the back of my band band is sort of sucked down a little bit. Uh, and I, I was thinking about getting another leaf spring in there, and then I think I can close it up this way. I can fold it in and then push it back, and then voila, we've got it. Trying to see if there's anything else here I'm missing. That's basically it, but it's basically pin shaped, very, very large pin shaped. Uh, but uh, you know, you could you could very easily stick it in a side pocket or a pocket. I, if I wear my, if I get my Victoria Knox in this leather pouch, and this also in my in my uh, say I slip down with the clip uh, at the top of my uh, of my pants pocket, I'm going to be when I have a bunch of tools, <laughs> uh, there's some question of whether or not I know how to use the tools I have, but I do have a lot of tools. Anyway, I just want to give you a quick look at this. This is, I don't know, maybe seven inches, six, seven inches long. I haven't really read the exact thing on there, but I think that's about six, seven inches, maybe seven inches. And it's uh, it's pretty cool in the fact it's just a new configuration I'm not familiar with. So I don't know if it's useful or a novelty. But uh, as usual, I'll pack it around in my pocket uh, for an, un uh, an unlimited or unspecified state of time and use it when it becomes uh, needed or necessary. At least, um, you know, the Victorinox I've been packing around with me lately doesn't have a pair of pliers, so I will have a pair of pliers and now as well as uh, everything else. I think that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with this, and it's very heavy. When I, when I first looked at it, I thought that this might be plastic, but it is basic, I don't know, compressed. It's, it's compressed plastic or, or something along those lines, or I think this is just... Uh, enamelized steel. I think it is enamelized steel. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, I don't know. Sorry about the plastic reference. But, uh, I, you know, I, I have a lot of SOG uh, knives, tools, multi-tools. You know, I just, I love them all. So, um, not only SOG, Leatherman, you know, you see the Victorinox, Swiss tools, I just, I just have them all. So, and that's one of the major features of this channel. Uh, Oddly enough, it's becoming more and more so since I'm closing my other channel and moving the videos from that over to this channel. So uh, this is going to be a full-fledged tool channel that does a few band videos every now and then. And uh, there are other bits and pieces, camera parts, etc. to this thing. And I've got a couple of reviews for cameras that I'm probably going to actually script because cameras tend to be complex. Uh, not this uh, this hero I'm, uh, I'm using for uh, this video. Uh, I'm using hero and I've got it zoomed in. 
Hero does make a relatively good desktop camera. So let me get back and finish this thing up. Sog Q3. So if you're interested, in take a look. I've heard that it can't, it can slip up and down when using the pliers, and I can see that. But if you grip something tight enough, I don't think it's going to be an issue. And usually, if you're getting, if you got pliers in your hand, you're gripping something tight enough to prevent that slippage. So I don't think that's that's a major complaint. Though I have seen the complaint in Amazon comments and in various other places around the internet. Anyway, uh, just keep that in mind if you decide to get this. It's a size Q3, and this isn't a, it's not cheap. It's in the uh, forty. $40 range or somewhere in that $40, $50 range, uh, which is about the the low end of the high end of the, of the uh, well, it's about in the middle now because, God, some of these multi-tools are extraordinarily expensive. Anyway, I'll give you a quick look at this, and I will uh, be back with you uh, later, and we'll be doing more things. I have no idea what's going to come next, but if you read the title of my, read the subject of my, uh, my channel, you know, any of those things could come up. Uh, and uh, and it'll probably be some new things. I'm actually going to do some unusual, somewhat vlogging stuff, which is going to be immensely unpopular, but sometimes I just do things for myself. I will uh, talk to you later, and you have a wonderful day.